Laura Marie. I'm happy to share with you a tour of our garden. It is May 27th, 2021 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we have some sunflowers. The sunflowers have not bloomed yet, but you could see their buds. This square bed has Quan Yin in it. And we have this little pear tree that we planted earlier this year. <coughs> I guess in the winter. And it leafed and it, and it bloomed a little bit. We have a pink kiddie pool garden bed that has just some sage growing in it right now. We have this big, huge mystery plant that looks like a... First I thought it was a squash and then I thought it was a... Melon. Maybe the cantaloupe seeds that I planted over here grew into a melon plant. So here's a potato. This is tree collards. So we had a few, a couple tree collards and then we'll break off a branch every so often and propagate some more. Here's some, some horseradish growing in this pot. And then, here's a pepper. I don't know if this is a bell pepper or what, but there we have a few different kinds of peppers. Here's some more tree collard. And uh, here's some brassicas. A friend gave us more sunflower that hasn't bloomed. And more uh, mystery melon or mystery squash. I think it's more cantaloupe maybe. But yeah, these are some brassicas. This one is blooming. Uh, we got from seed. This is like a Brussels sprout that I don't know if it's going to give us any. Another Brussels sprout and then a broccoli and cauliflower. And then some olives that we propagated recently. Chard, trying to bolt. And beet greens. Some parsley that bolted so we cut it back. Here are Jerusalem artichokes and some Tulsi over here. This is a grapevine of my spouse that we got in the winter. It's growing well and some more peppers over here. Some kale that's not perennial like the tree colors, just regular kale. Here's a mint. From our friends in Tucson, gave us this mint. Hope it grows well. It looks like it's on its way. And then here's some other mint from our friend here in town, her garden. Here's an old tomato left over from last year that never died. It has some little tiny tomatoes on it. <laughs> Cute. Some more mystery squash and our melons. And uh, this is another pepper plant. And I think this is Cosmos that haven't bloomed yet. Or, or no, no, maybe not Cosmos. Some other colorful flower that doesn't smell a lot. Here's some lavender. Some wandering dew. And I think that's mostly it. This is our disabled permaculture garden. Uh, pretty almost no weeding. Just letting things grow and grow. We cut things back every so often, but we do pretty well. Uh, we eat those uh, tree collared leaves a lot, probably most days. We'll eat a few leaves raw or cook some, you know, to eat with our rice or. Throw a few leaves into the pesto that we make, or well, that's a cute little cactus a friend gave us. And I'm not sure what this is. I hope it's a type of salvia. <coughs> and there's a rosemary here. This is like a firecracker sage that is not a true sage. Uh, we have a fig tree that's got a few figs on it. 
Can you see them? It's hard to see in this light, isn't it? Oh, here's one. Oh, looks like it might be good. What do you think? Should I try it? So, this, yeah, feels like it could be yummy. Hmm. Yeah, it's soft. And then, uh, I guess the only other thing I really wanted to show you was the Asian pear tree. So this Bartlett pear here was planted to fertilize the Asian pear. So the Asian pear is what we're really loving. And this one did bloom a, a little this year, so maybe we could get a couple fruits. But we're hoping it'll grow. It's like pretty tall now. I guess it's probably about six and a half feet tall now. Then we have this Palo Verde tree. And we have these, uh, Nopales cactus, which, uh, we haven't eaten yet, but want to. And it has a lot of that, that bug that makes the red die. And these mesquite trees are not the native mesquite. Um, yeah, I guess that's mostly what I wanted to show you.